Welcome back, everybody, to 70s to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Experimental Build 177. Just came out today. Um, so I perused uh, the patch notes, and uh, there were a lot of texture optimizations uh, that they listed in those patch notes. So maybe, just maybe, that will help us with our little uh, video frames problem that uh, creeps up on us every once in a while. Um, so s several fixes that sort of thing and one feature that they added now is there's now these new sorting options So I spent a little bit of time uh, before I started the video just doing some inventory management And I must have hit the little bag thing, you know up in the upper left hand corner <laughs> Like I don't know half a dozen times um, Because you know, you're just so used to doing it, but now we have sort options. So these are kind of cool uh, This just sorts, you know, like normal <clears throat> um, this will add items to uh, if there's items, if I have in here, and I also have them in here, and they're not a full stack, then this will make them a full stack. So, for example, if I have three shams in here, and then I click this once, it fills this up and gives me a full stack. Where that could be super useful is if you're trying to replenish ammo, for example. If I click it again, then what it does is it creates uh, everything, or puts uh, additional stuff in my inventory uh, and puts them in as full stacks and then this move all items to loot container first click moves okay so this hmm okay so that is kind of, I guess that's the opposite also create new stacks to move items I'm not sure why that's not working but I don't want to move everything into container. However, the fact that we can do that now is in and of itself fan frickin tastic. Uh, so now can we not, We you know, we've always been able to pull everything out of a container, but now we can put everything into a container. And I believe this is based off of a mod uh, that was that somebody created. I don't know who that somebody is, <clears throat> but I have seen uh, this mod used before. So uh, if that's true, then, you know, kudos to the individual who created that mod. I don't want to put all, all of this stuff in here, too, which is, I think, what this is going to do. So we'll just have to shift-click everything back in here the old-fashioned way. I had to make a new storage box because I was just out of room because uh, I was combining medical and food into this corner storage. And now we have uh, this one's dedicated to medical and this one's food. Okay, so let's see. We are... We are really low on shotgun shells. I can't imagine why. I have no idea why we're so low on shotgun shells. <laughs> been like using this gun like crazy. Um, and man, it sure has been working well too. Um, so I do have shot, shoddy shells and other supplies already down at the horde base ready to go. Um, and I want to put, take this steel down. See, I did it again. It's, it's going to take me a while to get used to that. Um, down at the the horde base so let's go put the steel down there as well and um how much steel do we have in total now so i have 108 that's probably whew, I, i'd still like a little bit more than that but that, that'll probably if we don't find any more between now and horde eight, that'll probably do the trick for us i'm thinking i hope it will and you know i'm not really i'm probably not going to do a whole lot of repairing on you know the middle one but once they get to this one that's when we're really going to start repairing like crazy plus you know we want to keep these repaired if they do happen to break uh through that one so we're really we're ready to rock and roll uh, on the on the horde base this guy is completely uh fueled up completely full and ready to go so that's good to go um all right so i do i am noticing some stuttering but you know i'll take stuttering over tanked frames any day even though it does kind of give me a little bit of a headache sometimes. All right, so let's see. We need to... I've got a few things we could go sell for Trader Gen. Um, we might as well just do that now. And uh, we're doing pretty good on coin. We have um, 
You know, we have almost 30,000 uh, coin now. Let's repair these things. And I'm, I'm going to sell the, our blue crossbow because in the last episode we found the uh, the compound crossbow and it is better than uh, the blue crossbow. Well, except for durability wise. All right, so the other thing I want to do is I don't want to take any of the shotgun shells that I already have down at the base uh, for Horde Knight. So we need to actually go do a little bit of lead mining so that I can just make some more uh, shotgun shells. Um, so that's something I'll do um, off camera too. But let's go sell to Jenny first. Now, the other thing is that I this next fetch and clear quest that I have, that's that same exact house, go figure, that we did a couple episodes ago. Uh, the one where I entitled it, It's Bigger Than It Looks, because th there's like a huge underground area here. And gosh, guys, I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I, I just, I don't want to keep doing the same damn PO POI over and over again, especially on, on camera itself, because, you know, we've already done it. So, you know, I'm not sure what to do about that. Uh, I guess what I could do, you know, is just do a quick, you know, speed run kind of idea where I just show the zombie kills and the significant loot and not everything else. That's probably what we're going to do. But man, I really hope they do something about that uh, to improve it later on. Okay, let's go ahead and equip our Magnum so we get the extra bonus. And we'll talk to Jenny here. And we're just going to sell her all of this. Do I want to sell that or do I want to keep it for the parts? Yeah, let's just sell it. I think we, we already have quite a few of those parts. Okay, so that gives us another 2,600. She restocks on day Thanks for the 37. Business. We're open from dawn to dusk. Oh, you know what? Since, she... you know, we don't have clocks. Right. She might actually have a new inventory. Let's take a look-see. Bar Brawling 7. Drink a beer no longer blurs your vision and your buzz lasts twice as long. That could actually be really useful, uh, you know, for the buzz that you get from that for stamina and so forth. Wasteland Treasures Volume 1. I learned a little trick to some... Uh, to sometimes get some when harvesting trees. Oh, honey. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's useful, and I'd like to actually complete Wasteland Treasure, so let's go ahead and buy that. And, um, yeah, let's let's hold off on that. What I want to see is, does she have more steel? That's what I really want to look at. Boy, she doesn't have a very large inventory this time around. And no steel. Okay. Um, Alrighty then. We, Stay safe out there. We are, uh, I, I think I showed this to you guys in the last episode, but we are now over 91. Uh, so we are now game stage, or tier 4 um, game stage. So that means the zombies are more dangerous, but we're also going to start seeing better loot too. Um, Let's go ahead and do our usual purchasing of all the candies and... Um, food that we typically will get. And then, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just go do a little bit of lead mining just so I can make some shotgun shells. And then after that, you know, we've got... Um, we ha Actually, wait, we have a turn in, don't we? Yeah, where is that at? Okay, so that's that's actually back to Trader Two, uh, Trader Hugh. Plus, there's a Tier Three. No, that is the turn-in that we have. Okay, um, so we should probably do that maybe first before it gets too late, and just see what our our prize is. So let's do that first. Then I'm gonna <clears throat> hit up a little bit of lead, and then after that, we'll we'll probably just go back and do that POI again. But I'm just gonna do it, you know, in in really fast mode. Okay, we're going to take the steel Here chest armor go. and just sell it because we, I think we have green steel chest armor, um, and it is better than this. Uh, 550 XP and 839 Dukes. Um, okay, so let's take a look at your inventory. Do you have, what do you have? Let's look in his secret first. Yeah, there's a batter up. I'm not necessarily interested in that right at the moment. Got a tactical assault rifle, but it's a, an orange one. I'd rather that we find that, and I'm sure we will eventually. Uh, steel boots. 
Yeah. Okay. Let's look at his normal inventory. Okay. Here's some forged steel. Let's buy um, all of that, or at least as much of that as we can afford. I've got more money back at the base. So I should have grabbed it, but it's all right. If we if we come back here for any reason before hard night, I'll grab the rest of those from him. I wouldn't mind getting that corn from him too, just so that we can make, you know, our our tacos and that sort of thing, and our corn and our chili dogs. Okay, it looks like that's about all he has. Good that luck with that. In. Tier three, fetch and clear to the southeast. So that's going to be back down that way. Oh, we're hungry. Yeah, let's let's kind of just stick to. Well, yeah, we could do that, I guess. Do some chores. Yeah, see, I think that's the same damn house that we did in the last episode where all those zombies jumped me from the roof and... Fantastic. Oh, well, whatever. Let's just see if we can get through, you know, the Tier 3 quest so we can get into Tier 4, but we're probably going to have the same damn problem on Tier 4, too, but whatever. What can you do, right? What can you do? I don't have any money left to buy any of this stuff. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go back to... What is this? I think that's a... Yeah, that's a nitrate deposit. I'm going to go over here to my lead mine, which is right here. And just, you know, mine up some lead so I can get some shotgun shells going. And then uh, when I'm done with that, I will meet you over here at this Tier 3 Fetch and Clear. And we'll, uh, we'll get that knocked out. All right, guys. We are back at um, the... Uh, this quest here, um, th this is the, again, this is the house that we did just a couple of episodes ago, so I'm just going to blitz through it really quick, uh, get it out of the way, and then depending upon how our time goes, um, we have another business strip uh, to do here in town. It's just this one here, but it's it's a different business strip than the one we did um, in the last episode. So, let's see, we don't need to carry the, those things with us. Um... Let's just put our luckies on because otherwise I'll forget to put them on. And we could even keep those in here for now. I keep I keep clicking on that thing, man. I just um I actually just got finished playing on my multiplayer server with my daughter and buddy of mine for a few hours. Uh and then I came back here to finish this episode and man, I, I must have clicked on that thing at least a dozen times. It'll it's gonna take a little getting used to, it, but it's really cool though. I really like it. Uh, I don't think there's any vending machines. Well, you know what? There might be. Let's go ahead and take those with us. And, um, yeah, let's do this. Oh, uh, the other thing I was going to tell you is I went ahead and modded up my Magnum. So I've got a 2x scope, a muzzle brake, and a flashlight mod. Um, and so we're going to start using the Magnum. But I, what I want to do is I want to get the Desert Vulture, but we just haven't come across it yet. Uh, so I'm sure we will soon because our game stages are now, you know, we're now at uh, level 4 with those. All right, let's go ahead and get this sucker knocked out.
All right, guys, that is it for that POI. Oh, we got some nice loot. This is the grand prize here. Uh, so we got a marksman rifle. Um, it probably doesn't do quite as much damage as our hunting rifle, but it's got a five uh, a five round magazine, so we can squeeze off five shots in succession. Um, so actually, no, look at that. Um, it is. It's actually one point better um, than the hunting rifle. Nice, very nice find. Okay, so we'll put that on there and that on there, and then we have another slot that we can put maybe a tripod or something on, which will give us uh, better accuracy when we're aiming, because you know we'll pretty much always be aiming with that weapon. Uh, really nice find. And then we also got some uh, purple boots. Are those better than what we have? It looks like they are. So, um. Uh, let's see, so that's, well, you, you know, even if they weren't, though, uh, but they are, but even if they weren't, this has two more mod slots than that, so we're, we're going to take it regardless. Uh, so let's take those off of there, and then we can put two more things on here when we get home. I think I might have some impact bracers, so we'd put those on and then uh, some some customized fittings. Yeah, so we scored pretty good. Uh, it's, it's nice to start seeing some really good loot. Oh, and we got a, we got a chainsaw in here, too. Glad I didn't take off and forget that. Um, put it. Yeah, not bad. Orange chainsaw. Would have preferred an auger, but I'll take a chainsaw too. All right, guys, here we are at um, the business trip one. I think we did business trip two or three in uh, in, the la in the episode before this. Uh, so I have done this one before too. This is the working stiffs, toilets, and lawyer place, but. It's been a while, and I don't remember exactly where the fat loots are. So, you know what? Uh, let's just go ahead and do it. And, yeah, we'll just do it straight up. So, this is a clear quest. And uh, we're going to move through it pretty quickly. Uh, like before, I'm not going to loot everything under the sun. We're just going to uh, get the the main loot skis and, you know, get through it as quickly as possible. Because we only have, you know, about a half half of an episode left in terms of time so let's move through it pretty quickly and then you know I, I might come back through it later and uh you know get all of the rest of the loot but here i am <laughs> as i say that i'm actually looting all the basic stuff so yeah let's just kind of move through it here and see what this is about so we got to kill all the zika Ruskies in here That out. Okay. Loving the Magnum, man. Loving the Magnum. Any, uh, like, safes or anything in here? No, I don't think so. Okay. Let's just keep moving upstairs. I'm gonna look in here for some Java, though. No Java. Okay. Alright. So, I know that inside this elevator area, we go down there and there's I think there's a loot crate or something down at the bottom in there, but I can't remember exactly what's going on with that. So, where are we supposed to go from here? Um, out the window, maybe, somewhere? Yeah, out here, because there's the light. Okay, so we should watch out for vultures, because... Oh, come on, man! I shot him point blank. What the hell? <laughs> that was bullshit. That was bullshit. Okay. The light's telling us to go in here. Whoa, copper ruski. Come here, Ronald McDonald. What what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I think it's so funny when they do the uh, little maneuver like that. Hilarious. Alright, did we kill that cop? I think he blew himself up. We damaged him. All right, let's go ahead and... There's a lot of toilets in here. With, potentially with, uh, with um, you know, pistols in them, pro potentially. Um, okay, so do we go up from here? I think there's something down in the bottom of this elevator, too, if I remember right. Yeah, there's a box here. 
I'm not sure if this is the way we're supposed to go, but let's just, uh, let's just check it out here. All right. Come through this way, okay. Did it? Oh yeah, you know what? There's a lot of brass in here. I I'm definitely, definitely gonna come back and get all this brass, uh, but I'll, I'll do that later. So now we move into the, the working stiffs area. Give us Mink. Um alright, yeah, let's take that. Let's pop a, a bandage. That's probably just gonna be like a, a toilet or a sink or something stupid like that, yeah. This won't be though. Okay, we'll take that stuff. Any safes down here? Oh, wow. Seven uh, motor tool parts. I like it. Is that just one seeker? Alright, so we're supposed to go that way. What the hell am I doing? I need to keep that on my tumor. There we go. Hold still, Arlene. We have really shitty uh, <laughs> AK skill. But we haven't put any points into it though either, so that's to be expected. Alright, now let's put our axe back on our toolbar. I'm going to take that and that. I don't care about the, the tool parts. We got lots of that. Lots of that stuff. Okay, so let's go this way. Zibachum. <laughs> in there. Hola. Come to Papa. Over here. Okay, what's going on with this guy? Ronald McDonald. Headless Ronald McDonald, that is. Any safes in here? That picture looks suspicious. Never mind. I guess we'll take that. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's it's more. Uh, no, nah, I don't want that shit. That we will take. Nah. Well, what's that worth? Forty. Nah. Let's not take it. Let's not take it. So we have enough room to do everything we need to do to get through this place without. Well, running out of room. Okay. Vultures? Thing in here. Aha! Uh -huh. 
I knew it. That's worth selling. Did we check that? I don't know if we did or not. Where are you guys going? <laughs> Come around. Hold still so I can kill you. Hold still. Whoops. You've suffered an abrasion. What? We're not going to be dealing with no abrasions. That's not allowed either. Let's get rid of that. Is there something up here that you guys were, like, fixating on or something? Take that stuff. Okay, um, oh, it's noon. Horde night is almost upon us, ladies and gentlemen. Almost upon us. This sure looks like a room that should have a safe in it. Why doesn't it? Well, it's got food in it. Yeah, I'll go through here later and get all the brass, maybe. <laughs> Don't like to leave the brass behind, but... We need to get, uh, we need to get done, done with this. Alright, let's look for birds. I don't see any birds. Nobody over that way. See, I thought... I thought there was a way... To go down like that elevator shaft and there was a crate at the bottom of it. Oh, maybe, maybe there is. Maybe we have to get, do we have to get up to the top of here? Or am I just imagining things? Right, let's take a look, see. Aha, uh -huh, see? I told you. Let's get off over here and then come down. This, I believe, is a secret stash crate. Secret hidden stash. Alright. Eh, not overly impressive, but we'll take it. I knew it. That happened to me the last time, too. <clears throat> but I... What you have to do is you have to go through the trap door. I think it has something to do with there being half blocks up here. Well, that isn't good. Son of a bitch. All right. Um, That's like a full-on broken leg, too, isn't it? Okay, well, let's eat this. So, you know... Something in the back of my head was saying, be careful, because last time you did this, you fell, and I kind of ignored it, and get, look what that got me. How's that working out for you, old guy? Oh, I shouldn't have done that, because we don't have, have the cap there. Whatever. Okay, so yeah, we're kind of in bad shape now. Let's put these here. I don't have the means to fix that. I, I do back at the base, but not right here. Is that aggravating that? No, it seems to be okay. All right. There's the facts. 
I just want to know where all the bad guys are. Well, there's one bad guy. What if we do this? Really? Is this going to be one of those deals where they're not going to spawn in until I actually get down there? It does seem to indicate that there might be a Zeke Ruski there, so, so let's do this. Well, there's that Zeke Ruski. Where the hell did you go? gonna hurt. Ouch. More zombies? All right, they're gonna spawn in on me. Let's get the this guy ready. Yep, here they come. <laughs> All right, return to trader. We we've done it. Oh, my leg hurts. Ouch, ouch, ouch. All right. Let's do the ammo. And the meds. Hey, how about a crutch? <laughs> Look at that. Well, a splint. Splint crutch sort of kind of the same thing, not really though. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Let's scrap a doodle of that. I keep pressing this button to sort. Man, it's going to take me such a long time to get used to, to this. This button here. All right, anything else we don't absolutely need to be carrying around? Because we're going to have to make some room, and my leg is splinted, but I, don't, I still have to be careful for a bit. So we don't need the plastic. I know that's a lot of plastic, but dudes, that stuff is so easy to get, right? Uh, we can turn this into... Wait, does it take two cloth for, for a bandage? Yeah, it does. So that's not going to gain us any space at this point. Um, if we pop one of these, that will make our abrasion probably go away or... Well, it, re it cut the time in half, basically. So, so that's good. All right, so that gives us one slot. Well, shit. Okay, let's just see what's in here first, and then we'll decide how we're going to play this. I might have to nerd pull back down and make a couple of trips here. These are all working stiffs. All right, what do we got here? Steel shovel. Okay, we actually can take those now because we already have some. Uh, we can take those now because we already have some. Ooh, look at that, steel. Definitely want that, and we have motor tool parts. I've got like, I don't know, four or five of these, and I even sold one back at the base, and they're not worth that much money. So I think I'm just going to leave that. This, however, we should, at, at the very least, we should scrap it. I mean, we could even sell it for some decent coin. Um, but, yeah, let's let's just take it. I have to make two trips, I have to make two trips. Okay, let's take a look at the fat loots. Another 8x scope, that's nice. An ammo and a pistol, okay, alright. It's not the best stuff in the world, but not terrible either. So... There's really, these are really the only two things that I really would like to take. So I don't know that I want to come all the way back up here. I've got over a full stack of, well, shit, that's decent money. Okay, we need to make three spots. We just need to do it. I don't care about that, and I don't care about that. So let's see, what are we going to do for three spots? We are going to scrap a doodle this, and that's worth 105, but we're going to scrap a doodle it anyway. I, there I go. There I go again. Um,. So that really only gained us one spot. Um, what else? What else? Five things of cloth, not that important. And let's just eat this. I know we don't really need to, but let's do it anyway. And what that'll do is that'll give us a little bit of health back. <clears throat> Excuse me, health back. And that's enough to get the rest of that stuff. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, I think that's it for this episode. It is um, almost 2 p.m. in the afternoon. It is Horde 35. 
So I think what's going to happen here is I'm going to... I've got to really be careful with that broken leg. I'm going to um, probably just kind of piddly fart around a little bit until Horde Night, and then we'll start the next episode uh, with, with the new Horde Night. Horde Night 35. Um, oh, you know what I'll actually probably do? I'll probably um, try and get just a little bit more steel. Go, you know, take about some lampposts or something like that. I've got a decent amount now, but I'd like to have a little bit more than I have. So I think that's what we'll do. But guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll see you in the next episode, Horde 35. Should be good. Bye-bye.